It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Niners and the Hawks under the lights on Monday night. Punter Mitch Wisnowski ready to do the honors. And away we go from Lumen Field. LaVisca Chanel to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. So out come the Seahawks for their first offensive possession. They'll be led out by the 12th year pro from West Virginia, Geno Smith. A bit of an uneventful outing individually last week, Kate. A touchdown and a pick for him, but the lasting memory, well, there's no question about it. Walking off that field with the loss, that stings. No doubt he feels he could have done more to prevent that result. So expect to see a motivated individual taking snaps here this week. And the connection not quite there yet on his opening throw of the game. Hey, I know nobody's perfect, and all you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. And he couldn't do a whole lot there. Minimal yardage picked off to the 27. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Out of the gun. Here's Smith. Pass complete to Walker. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Well, that's one of the moments as a QB. You just feel like those defenders are in your huddle. To drop them for a loss on third down can't happen. That's an incredibly quick read by the defense. Fourth down punt from the Seahawks. And that means we're going to see Michael Dixon head on to send it skyward. They needed three punts out of him in last week's loss as he sends this away. And he's brought down, but there's some laundry on the field. Personal foul, roughing the kicker, defense. A fortunate break for them as they get a gift with roughing the kicker. Their offense heading back out to keep things going. Running it after the penalty. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. A look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Way to the marker. It's second and five. Staying with Walker. And he's brought down for a loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? Well, did the exact opposite here, Kate. And now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Throwing on third, Smith. Pressure comes. He's taken down. The 49ers got him. So fourth down, and the big-legged Michael Dixon out to punt. Fair catch hauled in at the 18-yard line. So here come the 49ers now to take over for the first time. And bringing them out, you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. Their loss last week, it really isn't on him. He had a great game. He checked off a lot of the boxes they had for him in the game plan going in, especially the one at the top, Kate. And here we go. Right away, we've got a loose ball. And it's a turnover. The defense has it. Mm, mm, mm. Did not want to start like that. They get their shot to show what they can do, and they cough it up immediately, and they're off the field in one play. Did you see what I saw there, Kate? <laughs> I think I saw the excitement leave their body as somebody else was on top of that fumble. If you're the type to believe in omens, well, this is a very worrying start to this game. The Seahawks start headed out, and we'll see Kenneth Walker. And he's continuing a great start to the season. You can see, currently pacing the NFL in rushing yards. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a thrower for something. It brings up second down. Back to the air, it's Smith. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it sets up Seattle with first down. Working inside the red zone. Cut by Lockett. And they're gonna touch him down after a short pickup. It's not just imperative that a quarterback knows man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag route. 
When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. From the gun, Smith. That's caught for the first. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Seattle! The Seahawks capitalize on that turnover and take the lead. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Now it's Jason Myers on for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. On now is Dixon to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The 49ers and their running back about to get back to work. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They watch their fumble turn into points, so feeling maybe a little bit of an urge to make up for that now in this series. On first down, they'll run. And they'll take this up to around the 29-yard line. Three yards on the first down play, and that brings up second and seven. Another carry for him. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Ooh, I like that. I really like that execution to move the chains. Now that third down call that they had ready, well, they could stick it right back in their pocket for a later occasion. First down throw by Purdy. Throw complete to Yuschek. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. He picks up 28 on the play. And that's a 49er first down. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball into your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space upfield to turn a good play into a great play. He finds his running back. Nice work, complete. And he's going to go out of bounds just short of that red zone. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Shotgun snap for Purdy. That's brought in by Jennings. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Right up the gut. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Offense to the line for second down. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Finds his target, Mason. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. Third and a lone yard coming up. We've arrived at the end of one on Thursday night. Neither side separating much so far. More from Lumen Field in just a minute. Time to get the second quarter going. The 49ers set up inside the red zone. Looking to throw on third and one. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Second chance at six here. It's second and goal. To throw again. It's Purdy. Bails out of the pocket. Quit. 
And he carries it in for the touchdown. The 49ers can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. Brock Purdy with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. Starting from the five. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Seahawks back on offense, led out by Geno Smith. And he's been somebody who can get the scoring done with his legs just as much as his arm. You can see he's top five for touchdowns among NFL QBs. First play of the drive, here's Walker. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Running with Walker again. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. Niners countering with a fifth defensive back on this third down. Shotgun snap to Smith. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. Seahawks bring it out the punt team. Back deep for the 49ers is Debo Samuel. Went for 48 with his first kick, and this one looks even better. And he calls for the fair catch and is there to collect it. No return on that punt. And the 49ers will take over deep on their own side. They're out and set, first and ten. From the gun is Purdy. Seahawks bringing the pressure, and they got him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Another try following the sack. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And they're able to drag him down as he reaches the 15-yard line. Here he is on third and long. Brought in by Ayu. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. Starts the return at the 34. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That punt gets up to 59 yards. And it'll be Seahawks football. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. They go play action. Here's Smith. Into the hands of Walker. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. To the right side, complete big gain here. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Smith on first down. On and quick, and they bring him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. In theory, Kate, that's exactly what complimentary man coverage is supposed to look like. The DBs, well, they're sticky on the back end of it. The front end, that pass rush, it makes an impact that gets home. But of course we know it's not that simple. It is really tough to lock down a full field for more than a second or two. 
Walker hauls it in. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Jason Myers now going to try to knock this through for the Seahawks. It'll be a 54-yarder from the right hash. Has the distance, but headed well left. No good. And the score remains knotted. Seven all. Well, once you get out beyond 50 yards, everything in the process has got to be perfect. It's a good effort, but it's going to wind up off the mark. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Purdy on first down. Rifles it, and it's caught. And this goes across midfield and into Seahawks territory. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's the long back on the handoff. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. This defensive battle has reached the two-minute warning. The 49ers with a chance to score and take a lead into the locker room. Pretty throwing here on first. Reeled in by George Kittle. And he's going to get it out past the 40 before he goes out. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 38. He'll get this to Samuel. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. So critical, Kate, on those receiver screens to get that ball out with great precision. You don't want that receiver thinking about anything but navigating the blocks in front of him. That's well done by everybody. Toward Kittle, but it's intercepted. There he goes on the right side. Hits the 20. And forget the interception. He makes this a pick six touchdown. Thrown at the depth where linebackers come into play in coverage, partner. And sure enough, one of them jumps it and takes it to the house. You say that. You know what I think about? I think about the depth finder on my fishing boat. <laughs> You're absolutely right. This is where these linebackers love to lurk and could do some serious damage. Myers to add the PAT. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Well, Brock, hopefully some short memories on offense as they get it right back here on the kickoff after that pick six. Fielded at the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guys' ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. 49ers moving quickly, trying to get their offense to the line. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Third and short, here's Purdy. Buys time, rolling, trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. The Seahawks calling for a timeout, so they're first to three. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Mitch Wisnowski on the punt. And he's getting the call for the second time this game. Got 46 on his first punch, and this one's pushing a little more distance. Looking to return from the 29. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 
58 yards on the punt there. And it's going to be their football coming up. The Seahawks in good field position to start this drive off as they head up to the line. First and 10. They give up the gut to Walker. And he has enough room to gain about four. Well, I'll steal a line from one of my buddies, but I'm going to quote him. Mark Slare, two-time Super Bowl winner, says if you want to run the ball, you got to keep running the ball. And that's a perfect example of it. Don't get tired. Don't get mad at gaining four yards. It's a run that can set up even more in the run game. Second and six now. He finds fans. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Third down, one yard to go. Now the Seahawks are going to spend their third and final timeout. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Third and a lone yard coming up. Out of the gun, here's Smith. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of a defense. And third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in a fourth down since then. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they'll take over with minimal time remaining in the half. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And he's brought down across the 15 to about the 16-yard line. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. We've reached halftime from Seattle. It's the Seahawks leading in front of the home crowd. Now we'll send you from one end of the country all the way to the other. Jonathan Durr. Let's go right through halftime and on to the start of the third quarter. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. We'll see the San Francisco offense first this half as they're headed out now. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half too as they chase this lead. Quick hitter complete. Keeps himself upright. He could do it! And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. They'll try and punch it in. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers cut into the lead coming out of halftime. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. On is Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. Here's Wisnowski now to handle the kickoff. Return starts at the three. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Seahawks offense ready to get going once again. And this is an important drive to get momentum back after that touchdown tied things up. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Pressure comes, Smith. Metcalf's got it, complete. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. This is Walker on second. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. Third and just two to go. Off to Walker from the gun. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. And they've got themselves another first and ten. It's Walker on the option. 
And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. Pass complete to Walker. Just a couple of yards here as he heads for the sideline. And the 49ers in a nickel set. Third down coming. From the gun, Smith. He fires one deep down the middle. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Jair Brown has it. And the 49ers are going to have it after his second interception of the season. Well, this has been a great game so far, Brock. A hard-fought first half, but they're really offering an edge to their opponent here by throwing a pick on their opening drive. And now we'll get to see if they can capitalize that and pull ahead. They've already got the ball once this half. You know that they're loose, and now they get it back just one snap later. Now the 49ers getting set to go on offense. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. Samuel comes in motion left. First down throw by Purdy. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball on through a well-placed hit like that one. Back to the air on second, Purdy. Fires over the middle, caught. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. Purdy looking to throw. No hesitation, and that one's caught. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. To throw again, it's Purdy. That's taken in by Samuel. And he takes it inside the 35 before heading out. Ball at the 33 for first down. Throwing it again here. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass, here's second down. Still sticking with the passing game. He's gonna get this complete to his running back. And he's stopped at the 31-yard line. A less than ideal third and eight here. Purdy gets this from the pistol. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And they've taken back the lead. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Ball at the 33 for first down. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. The screen pass falls incomplete. Looking for the back that time. So it'll be second down. They go play action. Here's Smith. He puts everything behind this one. Brought in inside the 20. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Seattle. Seahawks just need two snaps to steal the lead. It's a DK Metcalf touchdown. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. On now is Dixon to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. 
And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. And they settled for a field goal on their last series. So points are positive, but they'll look to upgrade to a touchdown here. Purdy on first down. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 32. Finds his target, Mason. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure Coach and Play Caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, Play Calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Completed left side to Samuel. And he's out of bounds just past, looks like, the 40-yard line. Second and six coming up here. From the 41. He's got Ayuk on that slant. And he's tackled after getting this to the opposing 46. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. New set of downs for him from the 46. Pretty throwing here on first. That finds Ayuk complete. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. We've reached the end of the third quarter on this Thursday night. It's 49ers ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode here. They trail to start the fourth. They've got first down from the 31. Shotgun snap for Purdy. To the left side and wheeled in by Kittle. They rip off a big chunk of field and it sets them up with first and goal. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. He's got it. And he's brought down real close to that goal line at the one. It's second and goal. They give it to him up the middle. And he gets in. Touchdown. The 49ers take a fourth quarter lead. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Fielded at the seven. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Seahawks and wide receiver DK Metcalf set for another drive. And he's been reading the coverage, dare I say, Brock, even better than his quarterback has all game. I mean, he just continues to find openings and make plays in this second half. Walker on first down. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. He's got it. Room to run. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Now an inside give to Walker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. Going to the ground again on first. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. 
He's gonna push one deep down the right. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Throwing is Smith. Pass complete to Walker. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. This dude's just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball, Kate. Hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. A play fake. Now Smith to throw. That's a catch. Jackson Smith in Jigba. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. Give him 18 yards on that play, Brock, and it gets him a first down. Walker now from the gun. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks. You can keep them on the sidelines, and you get more than enough to get the first down. Working inside the red zone. This one's caught. And this one does not go far. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Shotgun snap to Smith. Did not like what he was seeing, Brock, and he just hurls this one away. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. He'll throw it. And the 49ers get there and take him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And in the fourth quarter, that's going to tie the game. You know, Kate, that may not seem like much. I just go one for two as a kicker, but it's a whole lot different just psychologically for these guys to see one go through because they may need him at some point later in this game. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. The 49ers headed back out on offense as we get another look at Brock Purdy. And he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game. Look at these numbers. They show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense. They'll run here on first down. And it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. Okay, this is why you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. you got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Hey, range? Range is not an optional feature for middle linebackers in today's game. Uh-uh, it's a prerequisite for the job. And this guy definitely has it. Followed that play from the start, and he ended it with a loss. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Back to throw it. Brought in by Ayu. And a nice game here, but it stopped short of the first. Now just four seconds after our two-minute warning, we've got another pause. Timeout taken by the defense. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Takes it in at the 21. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they're going to take over possession. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. To throw! Rifles it, and it's caught. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Seahawks in their hurry-up offense. They need to get everyone to the line. It's caught Metcalf. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. 
Pass taken in by Lockett. And he's able to get this down to the 36. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Here they come. This is third and five. The give now to Walker. He breaks the tackle. And they take him down right along the 30. That one ends up a gain of six. And the Seahawks will have a first down. Now Seattle going to call it second timeout. Still one more in their pocket to use. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. An important attempt coming up here for Jason Myers. Now with just seven seconds left in the game, we've got a timeout. An entire stadium of pressure now on Jason Myers. From the right hash, this is going to be a 41-yarder. That one is good! And that, folks, is your game winner! That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one isn't over, and that lead certainly isn't safe. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One final shot here. Trying to push it deep downfield. He's got it inside the 25. So several thousand 12th men and women cheering as the Seahawks win at home. And there was no easy knock. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. With Brock Yord and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Seahawks winners, as we say so long from Seattle.